Okay, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another module where today we're going to be going over live convo examples. The secret sauce on how I'm booking appointments for Elijah, the team, and how you can start booking appointments as well. Because one thing, it's theory is one thing, but to actually see it live in action is super helpful or from what I found. So hopefully this helps you guys and you become the top setter for your team, whoever you apply for. Now ignore the background, it's my little brother's room. Um, definitely not a big Avengers fan, as you can tell, but uh, anyway... Let's get straight into this. So, not gonna make this too edited because I'm not trying to be that guy. But yeah, I'll just show you. Literally, just show you what my inbox looks like and what I need to do. And provided you watch, make sure you watch the first module as well about the actual framework breakdown because that's gonna give you some context as to what messages I'm sending, why I'm sending it. All right, let's let's scroll all the way down to okay to. Uh, this guy so okay is it sharing let me see if it's sharing okay it's sharing that's good so this guy's an inbound dm he came to me first and he said hello i've come across a video of yours showing an appointment setting training i'd like to ask some questions since you provided your instagram we have time for that so this is like this is an inbound should be pretty easy i say go for it can ask up some questions okay I'm, an, I'm a va want to change my job to an appointment setter i don't know where to start learning from scratch do you have any ideas on how can someone start this and how to make it a full-time job i've thought about going to business owners and asking for training so right off the bat he's given me a ton of leverage he's given me he wants to become an appointment setter he doesn't want to be a va anymore he doesn't know what he doesn't know where to where to go to learn from scratch um and so far, he's thought about going to business owners and asking for training. So that's already three pieces of leverage. Leverage, all it is, just think of it as ammo. Think of it as reasons. Think of it as, yeah, think of it as reasons to get them top on a call. Think of it as power. That's what leverage is. So off the bat, he's already given me three pieces of leverage. So I said, yeah, sure. You want me to send some free training? So I would have actually, I actually looking at, at it now. What I do with Elijah is I send over our free training just in case they don't know. You know, just in case they don't know very much in the beginning. Now, I'm going to change that to my original approach, which is way more aggressive, just trying to get them to book a call. So I shouldn't have done this, but it works either way. Like, we've booked calls through this. So I send him the free training, give him some resources. Yes, it's helpful. Send it over. Checked it out. Very valuable. Thank you so much, man. I will watch so many of your videos. Give you a like, subscribe as well. Cool, cool, cool. So I realized that, and then I get to asking questions which is the right thing to do. So what made you want to become a setter instead of a VA? So I just attack one of the, I attack one of the leverage points, him becoming a setter instead of a VA. And I say, just so I understand. Now I'm going to put in the module or one of the modules, the secrets to keeping people engaged in the conversation. Now, one of them is validation. So saying things like, thank you. Makes sense. Nice. Amazing. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Um, just anything before you ask the question so that it doesn't feel like an interview. And it makes it does two things. It makes them not feel like they're in an interview and therefore leave you on red. And also it makes them feel heard, makes them feel important. And if you don't know, making someone feel heard and important, that is one of, if not the most powerful tool you can use to win friends and influence people. You want to make them feel important, make them feel heard. So that just knocks like three birds with one stone so validation you don't have to do it every time okay you don't have to be saying nice three times in a row but use your common sense use your social skills just do it most of the time add some value sometimes you can do this as well just like instead of the, the last thing i want to do here my approach is just don't be like the other setters whatever you do just don't be like the other setters because if you're like the other setters who Gets, rid on le gets left on red a lot, doesn't get results, seems salesy and scammy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with sales, but they don't work. Like, it, it, they're, they're clearly not working. So I don't want to bash my, myself in that bucket. So I'm just trying my best to make it as natural as possible while still advancing the conversation. So I ask him, are you planning to leave the company? Because I was genuinely curious. Like, is he leaving the company um, and upgrading to become a setter? Um, and then he said, I left the company a couple of days ago to make it full-time okay so how's the search been going how's the new position so far so again just continually looking for leverage here just a piece of information that would make him want to hop on a call
in this case it's been going well so i'll be like that's great how did they go or have you taken them already actually i meant to say are you waiting Okay, that's one down. Um, I'll go through some past conversations as well because what I should have been doing because I already did some clearing of the inbox uh, before this video, which I shouldn't have done. I should have just been doing it with you guys so you can watch. So we'll go for not this one. Okay, we'll go for this one. So, yo, Gabe, this is a this is me doing outbound now. Specifically, when they like or engage with a post, and that's why I'm a big advocate for content because it makes sliding in a lot easier. So I say, Yo, Gabe, just wanted to say thanks for liking my post and, sh and sales post. Appointment setting and sales post honestly means a lot. How's everything going? Responds back. Now, here I've been trying a new approach. I've been trying to, because in the beginning, what I found is you don't want to go straight into business, you want to match their. You want to calibrate the room. You want to read the room, or in this case, you want to read the other person. So what I mean by that is, if I were to go straight into business here, he probably would have left me on red. He probably wouldn't be interested. A lot of red flags were popping up because we haven't built rapport yet. So in order to build rapport, I just ask. I, I take it slower with people who don't, you know, who who's especially if they're cold and I've never messaged them in my life before, and I'm coming to them instead of them coming to me then I'll take it a lot slower. But sometimes there's a new one. So I just say, what's up, where are you from? So this is like what I'm trying out. I'm asking where they're from. Just building a connection first before we get into business. Cause then that way they're more comfortable and then uh, more likely to book a call. So I say, UK, you know, cracking some jokes, some humor, trying to get out of here though, haha, <laughs> cold like Idaho. For real, I'm moving to Washington though, so happy. Oh, awesome, I know a bro, and I know, I know a guy who I work for who lives there in Everett. Which part are you moving to? So just building more and more rapport, building a building a connection. Yeah, that's getting him to open up more. Going here. Cool, cool, cool. And then now I feel like it's it's the right time to ask about business. Like I've built enough rapport, enough connection. So I just go for it. And I say, might be a shot in the dark, but are you in appointment setting or sales as well? So even then, like, I'm just like, could be completely wrong. Might be a shot in the dark, but I'm assuming you're in appointment setting as well or sales. Um, just taking a complete cold read, I guess. If you're in dating, you know what that is. And um, he actually says he's looking into it. So the good thing is here, I ask him what if he's in it as well. You either get yes or uh, look or getting into it. It's like that's like in the middle, and then there's no. The good thing is there's plenty of options. So you can go. Yeah, if they say yes, then that's easy. Just advance the conversation. Ask how it's going. If they say either no or if they say no or they're getting into it then you can ask like were you looking to get into it if they say no if they said you're looking i'm looking to get into it like this guy did i can ask him like i can ask him how much does he know about it so far what's he been doing so far to get into it how's it been going so there's plenty of different options not much actually just being introduced so again i did the bad thing which is send over some free training because i could have if i kept going with the convo you could just get him uh, on a call, probably. So yeah, send him free training. But this is not bad. Like this is all goodwill. This is all giving value, which is what we want to do. So yeah, that's that. This guy's supposed to book a call, so I will follow up with him. <laughs> so thanks, man. Quick question. He slides in. What's the appointment setting gig? With the appointment setting gig, is it realistic to aim for around five k a month? Of course it is course plenty setters make that and more what's up i ask him what's up so what i didn't want to do here what i should have the wrong thing to do here is just answer his question and leave it as a setter you always want to be starting new conversations um and getting creative about it if you're having trouble doing that so i ask him what's up like why did he ask that it's just a it's just a more subtle way to ask why did he ask that and then boom that kicks off the conversation He's drop shipping right now, bootstrapping it, but thinking of doing appointment setting, getting cash flow, hire a mentor, uh, cash flow from setting to improve his life. So there we go. See, opened up. 
Start the convo. Got you, bro. So always validate, making them feel heard. Got you, bro. Is it something you've been considering for a while? Or so I say that. Been planning for a minute. Okay, where do you want to take this appointment setting gig next few months? How much do you want to make? So here I'm just creating contrast between his current situation and his desired situation. Because that's gonna get that's in sales, that's what's gonna get them to buy. In appointment setting, that's what's gonna get them to hop on a call. So I'm just doing that. To be honest, if I'm making around 547k a month, I'm happy. Give me time to leave my part-time job. Give me one second. One second. I'm gonna charge. My phone is my phone sitting on this like this uh wireless charger. So I might as well charge it. There we go. Turn it on. You might hear a sound in a minute. Is it charging? Alright, let's hope it's let's hope it's charging. So Leverage is giving me a ton of ammo. Now, the thing is, with a, with setting, the good thing about setting is you can just, as long as you have one to two points of leverage, you don't even need that many. You just have to, you just have to read the room, how much pain are they in, or how much do they desire their end goal. And if we can help them, let's get them on a call, let's pitch them. So I don't even have to draw this out. I just say, look, bro, let's, I'll be direct. Let's uh, get on a one on one, see if we can help. Ask me when I'm available. Ask if I send over the team schedule. Booking a call. Well, he hasn't booked in a call yet, so I'm going to follow up. <laughs> so if you want to follow up, just say like, open some slots for you so you can check that or you find, manage to find a slot. <laughs> I'm going to speed it up because I think we're, we're I'm, I'm being way too slow right now, so... Okay, this guy, he's just, okay, so he, this guy slides in, hey man, what's up, how you doing, what made you want to reach out, so I'm starting the conversation there, uni, when I went to uni, I used to go to uni, he's got uni right now, and I'm also in the UK, so that's plenty of report already, throwing in some humor, validate, asking question, see, this is just the source, like, just building a report, building a connection, so we can open up. And then he starts talking about his friend who invested in a, in a course and he's thinking of doing it as well or getting into setting. Cool, cool, cool. Just more, more, more. So I, I want to be careful here because he's been the one asking the questions mainly. And if you don't know, and I might make a video on this, frame control is very important. And how you keep frame is be the one asking questions. They say the one who's asking questions is the one that leads the conversation. It's the one who controls it. Because the type of questions you ask dictate where the conversation goes. Now, at the moment, and your job is to hold frame, which means to be the one asking questions, to be controlling where the convo goes naturally. So this guy at the moment, he's asking a lot of questions. I have to be wary of that. So he just asked another question. Like, there's nothing wrong with, these are harmless questions, but I need to start thinking, how, how can I take back, take back the frame? So is that what you did? I don't know what he meant by that. Because you said instead, <laughs> instead of running coaching because you don't have skills like these, start with coaching. I start and made some mistakes, but learn from coaching. I was thinking of doing that, but I thought I should get some experience in other ways and start the coaching thing. Okay, cool. So I know what he means by that now. Um, he's deciding. If, uh, I'll help him make a decision. I got you. So I'll validate. Gotcha, makes sense now. Um, it's up to you, bro. It's up to you. Last thing you want to be doing, though. <laughs> Wait, did he say how long he's been, been in business for? Pretty good, I was thinking of. Okay. okay, so I know what to ask this. So it's up to you. Last thing you want to be doing, though, is... This is genuine advice, like, just don't, is not sitting on the side, like, deciding. So I'm going to ask him, how long have you been in business for? Or considering to 
get into this. Considering getting into biz. Reason I ask that is now if he says if he says he's not in business for long, which I think he's gonna say, then that tells me he doesn't have much experience, therefore we can help him out definitely and then take it from there. If he says he's been in it for a while, then but he's already said prior in the conversation that he's he's not where he wants to be. Like I got I got a hint that he's not where he wants to be. Otherwise he wouldn't be reaching out and asking about if he should get into coaching or, or start learning a high income skill, then I can use that as leverage as well. Yo, Damien, appreciate the follow, bro. Means a lot. How's everything going? Yep, again, same thing. Just reaching out to people who follow me, who like me, or who like my content, and hopefully you like me. Um, comment anything, just anything to start a conversation. It's all right, bro. How's everything going? Yep. Report, usually how it is, 10 out of 10 so far. Thank you, from UK as well. Motivated, he's from Wales. More report, because I was there out there last summer, it was actually really nice. Um, excuse me. Nice, I was out there last summer, got some nice spot. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, exactly, Wales is beautiful. Where did you visit? I visited, I think it's called Lidbrook. I don't know, probably heard of that. So maybe one to two more back and forths, I'll start transitioning it into the business conversation. But right now I'm just building a connection. Okay, so yo dude, thanks for liking my post. Honestly means a lot. How's things going? <laughs> Pretty good. What about you? Ten out of ten. Monday so far. So far. Uh where are you from? Where are you from by the way? Now what I'm going to do here is fill in my tracking sheet like a good boy because I want to know how much money I can make. So this guy's a, got a weird username. He's like a 2011 white suburban kid who drinks monster and addicted to Xbox type username. Yeah. So I'll fill in my tracking sheet. If you don't use your tracking sheet, then shame on you. You should be doing it. I don't care how boring it is. It's it's uh, if you don't know where it is, it's included in the in the notion. Uh, just scroll down to the bottom. It should look like this. Just make your own copy and then fill in every lead that you speak to. Just fill fill this in, please. Just fill this in and thank yourself later. So now I know. This is gonna tell me. Okay, how many people are nurtured? Like how much? How many people are actually responding back to my messages? Now, this is very, very high because a lot of it is inbound through EJ's account. Link sent, self-explanatory, how many, out of how many people I speak to, how many do I, how many links do I send to them, how many actually commit and actually book in, which should be high. I don't know why this is 15. Oh, it's 15 because it's in relation to how many people nurtured. So don't, 15 is not that bad. Um, appointment taken, so this talks about if they actually showed up on the sales call. And then how many did they close in and how many aren't interested? Numbers cheap. So that's there. That's there. I'll talk to this guy. Okay, cool. Informative. So I sent him the free training. He's from Nigeria. Send him the free training worth 15 minutes. I do have questions. Is there a special way to DM them? As to not get into the request. Honesty is best. Policy. Oh policy if you're worried about landing in so this guy i'm just giving him source i'm just giving him a value because I, I don't really too concerned about booking him in if you're worried about landing in the message request either be for adam's friends first because this is true well i haven't used facebook in a while but we'll see either add adam's friends first Or uh, increase your volume. Let's see if anyone you can send me voice. Yes, that's even better. Okay, perfect. We're gonna book a call. We are gonna book a call on this in this training. So 
we will send over Homero's link and then add some urgency. I saved this. If you're wondering how that, whoa, Matt, how did you just do that? I basically, if you're a setter, this is in the bonus message hacks module. If you're a setter, or is it keyboard? This also works for phone. Go to text, go to replacement. The stuff that you say all the time, the messages that you say all the time, just save them as a shortcut. So, for example, this is one of the things I say all the time. I say, just to add some urgency after sending the link so they don't dilly-dally around, waste our time, and not book a call. So I say this all the time, but it's way too long to type out myself, so I just save it as a shortcut here for SW. Game changer. So that's a book call. Well, it's going to be a book call, so... Let me just throw that in on the tracking sheet. Oh, come on. Dude changed his name. D. Nadif. D. Nadif. I'll speed it up, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry, actually, but I'll speed it up. D. Nadif. Link sent. Perfect. And the best part about the track, well, one of the good parts about the tracking sheet is that when you come to the end of the month, and you want to be separating these month by month. So I go to January, got December, January, February, it's going to continue on for the remaining months. At the end of the month, it will tell you your numbers. You can give this to the person you're working with, and then you can make adjustments. So you could be like, hey, dude, so I noticed our. Our booking rate, our appointment booking rate is 15%. Um, assuming you're not happy about that, you want to get to 20%, just ask him how can you boost up. And he'll love you for it because you've been proactive, proactively tracking your conversations. And that shows you're being proactive. That shows you're, you're, you're doing more than the bare minimum. And you're going to love you for that. Okay, this guy responded. What we'll say in a minute. This guy might book in. Schedule like, are you some appointment setter or mad himself? No, oh, for God's sake. Well, he's asking if I'm, if it's Matt, which it, obviously it is. He's testing my frame a bit, so I need to hold it. So I'm not gonna send you a voice message, dude. I mean, I might do, but yes, it's Matt. Why, what's up? So I'm now taking the frame because I'm asking him what's wrong. Well, that's not really taking the frame, but it's just me asking the questions again. Because I don't think, I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, if it's a setter, regardless if it's me or a setter, there's nothing wrong. So I need to win that frame battle. No. I'm going to go to... Okay. What I'm going to do is... Actually, I'll respond to more of these. I'll go to my Facebook as well, just because... And then in the next module, I will go through Elijah's account where he's getting inbound DMs. So I'll show you how that's done. So we'll just go to Facebook, see if there's anything there. I realize a lot of beginners will probably land in an outbound setting position, which sucks. I know, but hey, everyone's been there. You gotta go through it. Well, you know, yeah, you you gotta go through it basically. You gotta be in the trenches get rejected a billion times and then slowly but surely you'll upgrade your skills you'll learn to take rejection better and uh, maybe they'll upgrade you to an inbound closing position or, or inbound uh sorry setter position or you find a, an inbound setting position but you got the experience therefore you get the job easier so we'll go through instagram my instagram we'll go through facebook and then the next module we'll go through ej's because he's got tons of leads there What's going to you interested? So, same thing, same error. Um, actually, what? Yeah, I, I really screwed up on this one. So, this guy was very, he's very, very warm slash hot lead pose. I could have just booked him on a call there. But then I did the mistake of like asking how much he knows and uh, setting him the free trading, which isn't a mistake again, but I could have got him on a call by now. I work seven days a week. I'm not sure I want to be with money. Gotcha, bro. Um, 
what are you aiming for in terms of money like how much do you want to make like how much again i'm going to try to keep it as natural as possible like how much are you wanting to make make next few months okay so i'm positive i'm going to book this guy in work seven days a week so i want to be with money you know notice i'm not reading off a script and that's good because what you want to be doing instead another good thing that setters do just like you would in normal conversation you would say things based on what they last said well, now with conversation we do that all the time but when it comes to the dm for some reason our brain just throws it away so what i'm doing here is he said that so leverage he's worked seven days a week not where he wants to be with money so if he says that obviously i'm not going to start saying like are you a setter yet or something completely irrelevant that most people do just looking at the script okay what question do i copy paste next no if he's talking about this he says he, he's not where he wants to be with money so i'll ask him about that i'll ask him about money like how much do you want to make how much are you earning right now it doesn't matter talk about what like you want to just what you say should be based on what he last said that's what i'm trying to say here let's talk about this talk, let's, talk, let's talk with this guy oh, okay same here can't wait for what's to come where you're from bangalore india what about you okay well i'm not booking them in sorry um and i'll say i'm not booking them in like like just because there's a high likelihood there's nuance but there's a high high likelihood that these guys from these third world countries nothing personal just won't have the finances to join so india what about you uk I should actually continue this convo. You know, let's check that out. Let me do it from the center. Awesome. Awesome. Can definitely do that. Um, I'm going to ask. If you don't mind me asking, what are you doing right now? working yeah excuse me jeez appreciate the follow see your youtube videos help the consistency are you in setting in sales just discovered the space wants to get into it how are you finding it so far going well you know i think you meant to say tape digital marketing so hopefully or whatever taf is didn't want to do college again you're just telling me everything and you're going to get to a point if you build your brand enough they're just going to tell you ammo they're just going to give you ammo so it's going to be easy yep i feel you why also why i dropped out last year how do you feel so about about it so far how's that been going so far start in february just researching what did you need wrap your head around just to see if I can help the reason I ask this is because I don't want him sitting on the sidelines until fucking February so I want to see if I can speed the process up um, and then that's going to give me more reason to book him on a call stuck to this person we landed a position yet kind of lost right now South, small country southeast asia i don't think it's easy to land a position for now i'm focusing on mastering the skills yeah yeah that makes sense makes sense can definitely do both though at the same time location location can be stroke can be minor headache because really guys like location if you're fussed about location then it's not it's not really that big of a deal like as long as you you're, you're coachable as long as you're coachable you're a good person uh, you're willing to learn 
you're good at the skill or improving at the skill fast. Especially if you're a setter, closer may be a bit more um a bit more difficult because they're gonna rely you to hop on zoom calls with people and the time zone can be an issue. But if you're a setter, bro, there's no excuse. Location can be minor issue, but especially if you're setting, it's not really a problem. More of a limiting belief. Uh Okay, so I want to ask a question. Keep advance the conversation. What should I ask? I'm gonna ask. I'm just kind of lost right now. Plus, I live in a small country, Southeast Asia. I think it's not a position. Action skills. Um, I'm gonna ask. How long ago did you start? If you're stuck on what to say next. A time sort of question, time based question, uh, is is like your what was the word? A time based question is safety, your safety net basically. It's an easy, it's a, it's a whatever it's called. It, it's just something that you can ask like almost any time. It's very versatile because time can extract pain. Um, you know we don't want to waste time. So if you ask things like how long ago did they start or how long they've been in business for, you can go many different ways there. Sorry, my eyes are really itchy, which is why I'm, I'm scratching it a lot. But okay, well, we move. Um, Time-based questions are really, really important and they work a lot because you can ask like, okay, so for example, I asked how long ago did you start? If she says a couple months ago, so not very long, then that's leverage. If she says she's been trying it for a while now, but hasn't gotten the results, that's also leverage. So either way, you're finding it's going to bring out some sort of pain to the surface, which is leverage. Um, I need to stop saying um. All right, these, these ones are personal. This one, I'll go to this one. So he asked, can I access the free group uh, in the Discord? Start the conversation, assuming you're in an appointment setting in sales as well. Join the server, cool, cool, cool. Send him an opportunity. Reach out to him on social platforms. Okay, this is this is more, uh, this is more personal. All right then. Um, all right, all right. Are there any other good conversations that we can... What other conversations? And see, look, I want to make this clear. I, it may look like it's all sunshine and rainbows, like everyone replies to me, but that's just not the case. I get rejected more than you, guaranteed, if you're watching this. So look, he probably hasn't read it because it doesn't see red 18 minutes ago, but... This is what I'm doing to get new leads, start new conversations. But look how many people either have left me in red or haven't watched it. I haven't seen the message yet. So I get rejected every day. It's fine. No sweat. It's just part of the process. The more you get rejected, look for the no. But if you look for the no, the more no's you get, the more yeses you're bound to get. Let's see if there's a good convo. Uh I'll show you this one and then I'll go to Facebook and then I'll I'll stop this and then move on to the next module. So again, classic. How's things going? Not bad. Where are you from? Report, connection. Ask him about business. Is he in appointment setting or sales? Does not think he's old too old for that? Too, too old I don't think he's old enough for it yet. So I just ask him like how old are you? I'm just going based off what he said. If you don't mind me asking. Turn 16, people say I look 20. Humor, report, you can do it for if you're 16. Now he's interested. He's asking, no way, is this what you do for a living? Yes, sir. Not making anything crazy right now, but we're in the beginning stages. Better than stacking crates, more humor, more report. Electrician uh, courses, send a voice note. Um, see if you can. I don't think you can hear it because I'm sharing through OBS, but I basically said in the voice note, I know a lot of people doing a similar thing, like engineering, 
Uh, but they're also doing this at the same time and being resourceful. So he's asking about it, telling more about it. How much would I make a year? Oh, I forgot to an I forgot to answer. I forgot to answer. Yes, I want to answer this guy, this guy's questions. But now he's taking more of the frame because he's ask he's the one asking questions, and I don't want that to happen. So, or I don't want it to get off track. So, how much would it make a year from doing this? Hey man, sorry, just, just replying now. How much would you make a year? First year could be another 10k a month for sure. I'm gonna ask him, What are you doing anything right now? Are you doing anything right now to pay the bills? Income? Uh, did I say just so I understand? Just so I understand. Oops, that's another shortcut. Now, the reason I say just so I understand a lot, or if you don't mind me asking, is because if you give your question, if you give your request, if you pair it with a reason why you're asking it, it's way more powerful. Look up the story of the, the printer, the, of the because effect. I, forgot, I think that's what it's called, the because effect. Look that up. And uh, it'll make sense. Because if you give more of a reason, if you give them a reason why you're asking it or making the, the, the request, then they're more likely to answer it. There we go. We'll go to my DMs now. Oh, that's personal. Okay, we'll sort this out later. This is a partnership. We'll get you more partnerships. Okay, let's see what we've got here. What's your service price? Just asking, can you speak about it? No. I don't know, dude. I have to hop on a call. Assuming, if assuming, interested, you'd have to hop on a one on one first. We don't just say the price. Investment cost out loud to everyone we meet on the street. That's true. Just life in general. So I'm asking him this current is desired situation. Just life in general. Closing and graphic design. Yeah, there's not much to extrapolate from Facebook right now because I don't really use this. Uh, the power of network, my G. This guy's not a prospect, he's just trying to probably pitch me. It's not bad. Um, anyways, I'll call it I'll call it a day there. I'll call it a day there. Hopefully you enjoyed this first module. The next one, which I'm probably gonna film straight after, it's gonna be going through EJ's, Elijah's inbox. So, see you in the next one.